Welcome back to Fog Racing here to preview the Bahrain Grand Prix. We weren't here on Thursday, but we're here on the Friday. How about it? Yep, it's time to go. Cost a Red Bull a million. I mean, he's he's racked up quite a, a debt. Right. It's not like we're Max. He's not paying it off with this. It's, 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 it's not like we're Max. I mean, Max does crash. Well, maybe not recently particularly, but he did at the start. But at least the guy was... You it was the risk stuff that was actually it. worth it. I mean, what's, what's this guy crashing for in practice Risky too? place in the race like me. No, I'm sick of it. Obviously, I'm banned for Twitter now, so I can't really see it, but... <laughs> We're both banned for Twitter. Sick of all these Albon fanboys greeting, saying how he's doing a good job and the Red Bull's not the second fastest. Here, we'll see it earlier in the season. They had the excuse that he was fourth in the standings. Oh, I haven't. He was doing well. I mean, well, that, I'll, I'll just, tell you what, right? That, 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 you can't even fucking use that anymore because I think he's like ninth. Is he? Is he? If, is he? If the Red Bull is not the second, is, is not the second fastest car. Yeah, Max is the best driver. Ever. Yes. Max. There's is, no two ways about it. Max then. is better than Schumacher, Hamilton, and Alonso combined. Senna and Prost they ain't got fuck all in Max for starting. Damn right, son. But so, yeah, Albon out. Where will they qualify the motor? Won't matter because they'll still call it a recovery drive. It's just pish, get him out, man. Get Perez in. Perez. I actually think it'd be exciting. I'm not saying Perez would beat for starting, but I think it'd be an interesting battle. And I don't think it, I don't think it would, it wouldn't be one-sided. I mean, uh, Perez I'd, would qualify him and see if, from time to time. If Perez was in that Red Bull this season, it'd be, it, 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 see this whole gimmick of, oh, it's the same top three. It'd be, it would be, oh, it's the same top four. I think, Perez, I think Perez would give him a similar kind of battle to Ricardo did. I know, but... That's just the well, way we'll it never is. see it, so... I really hope Red Well, I mean, I say we'll never see it. There's no reason why we shouldn't see it, because... I mean, you talk about... You, you say the second Red Bull driver, it has jobs to be fourth in the standings. Well, Perez is fucking fourth. He's doing his job and he's not even in the car. I'll tell you what, though. So, I, mean, I know Bottas is a good number, too, but... See, next season of Red Bull improved. They could have two drivers going for the title with Max and Perez. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And it could be a two-on-one situation. Because, let's be real, Paul, I, said, I mean, say, say Red Bull massively improved and were just a bit better than Merck, that could benefit them big time. Yeah. But, they're never going to have it. But anyway, we're in, talk about the race preview, man, we're talking about Perez and Albon, but we could talk about that for a bit. Give Hultenberg another chance, fuck it. I mean, the guy deserves a podium. Yes. And I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm going to die on the hill until we get him a podium. Hultenberg cannot retire until he gets a podium. But anyway, speaking of this race, it's probably going to be another win for... Well, he didn't win the, well, he did win the last race for Who? me, Hamilton. Mm. I forgot. I, I thought it was uh, chaotic. Cause well, you, didn't, you, you, didn't do it. you didn't talk about it, so if you want to talk about that race, go ahead right now. I mean, people say Hamilton's overrated. And it, well, I mean, I guess you, you could you could maybe give him he's overrated, but people say he's not that good and that you know, he only wins because of the car. Look at that. That last race is just absolute proof. The guy comes back from anywhere, stays out on tyres, it should be deep. Finishes half a second quicker than half a second, half a half a minute over the guy in second place, and Bottas is in the same fucking superior car. Finishes 14th in a lap down. So I mean, really, I think that last race, it, it just everything you need to know really about Lewis Hamilton. So and Bottas with one of the worst races I've ever seen. Every time Hamilton has a bad race, well, not a bad, but every time Hamilton's in a situation where you think he's going to be struggling here. Bottas doesn't do himself any favours, man. I'm looking at Monza, where, where even though Bottas finished ahead of Hamilton, Hamilton, from the, from the public view, like had had the better race because they actually came back, made up a shitload of time and overtook people. Bottas was stuck behind. Bottas, from, Hamilton's problems came. I mean, it was. I mean, I know you could say it was his fault, but Bottas lost track position. The cars that are inferior. Well, Hamilton lost it due to it, apparently. Yeah. And that's it. Bottas is pish. Get Bottas and Albon out. I mean, he's better than Albon. But no, Bottas him. deserves to stay in F1, but I think he's... He's had four seasons now, right? In a top team. And well, the team? Yeah, the dominant. And let's be real, he's, he's not once came close to beating Hamilton. No. You could argue Bob Barrichello never came close to beating Schumacher either, like, but... Sooner or later... Friday went to Barrichello, it's time see, to go. See, a lot, see a lot of that though, that's, that's, I'm not saying Merck don't favour Hamilton, but it's nowhere near what Ferrari did to... I mean, I'd say Merck is a bit of a level, a level, a level playing field, like... I mean, a lot no, of times... I, 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 mean, I, 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 mean, I mean, there's a lot of times where... 
Why well, they would never? I, I can't imagine fucking Mayor ever saying to Bottas, right? Pull over and let fucking let Mike uh, let Hamilton win the race here on the last corner. Well, well, they did it in Russia. I like to be fair, one race though. Mm, that's true. Does Hamilton not give him it back? No. No. That's only Michael that gave him back. But. But I mean, remember that time in Hungary where they let Hamilton through and he couldn't overtake and they let Bottas back through? They fucking never did that in the Ferrari, like it was the Schumacher. Uh, but you can make a case. The year that Ferrari went downhill, they were like, right, Barrichello, you've got to go. So uh, that's when they realised they You could make two. a case that Ferrari were well, were, were happy with their one and two driver while they had the dominant car. Mm. But in 2005, when they no longer had the car, and Schumacher somehow... See, that's a sign of a good driver. You, you look at 2005, Schumacher finished sixth, eh, no, third in the standings. Yeah. And realistically, Schumacher shouldn't have been ahead of Montoya in Fisichella. No, no. And, but he was. No, that's a sign of, no, I mean, that's, that's a sign of a good driver. And it's like, obviously, Friday, right, well, you know what, we're, we're no longer dominant. Would Barkel finish out your sixth? Nah, I don't think he finished sixth. I think Julie was sixth. In Toyota? Nah, I think he was. But anyway, my point, my point is right. That this, that it could be that could be similar. Like Bottas, might, this job might be safe at the moment because there's no real challenge. But I've got a funny feeling if Mercedes are no longer the fastest car on the grid, I don't think Bottas will still be there. You know. Damn right. So and right. anyway, in the preview this weekend, they've buried quite a lot of drivers here. Obviously, practice happened today. I mean, Mark were on top. There's not really much more you need to say about that. But anyway, let's predict who's going to get pole. I'm Speaking going of more. burying drivers, people stay in stick Russell in it. You tell me Russell wouldn't get white by Lewis, he would. I don't think Russell's better than Bottas. Well, put it this way, right? Bottas has got decent one lap pace, but see over our race, he's shit. See with Russell. Russell's good decent qualifying. Oh, he's never been out qualified by a teammate. Let's be real, his teammates have been pish. And every time. In the in the race, he's shocking. Look at that Emily ball on it. That's what I mean. I mean, that, and where was he last weekend? That's what I mean. Would you feel more confident? Who? I mean, if you were the Met boss. Who? I mean, I could say well, there's more unknown about Russell. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. More, but more unknown doesn't mean good. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but on that note, yeah. I would say Bottas is consistent, right. but he does have the odd fucking shocker. And that race there was just an example. Like, it's convenient the shockers always in line with a when Hamilton has a like, there's a half a chance he could lose the I race. I have never seen Hamilton have a bad race like that in Mercedes. Hamilton's bad races. Oh, he starts through the back and he he gets further. <laughs> yeah, like I've never seen Hamilton just have a race where he, he's stuck in the midfield the entire time and makes absolute no fucking impact in the race. That's what Bottas literally I think it was at Monaco, was it 2017, where he started like 14th Hamilton, but he still finished like 6th, that's at Monaco, yeah. where you, you can't do anything? Anyway, predictions for this, right. uh, this race weekend. We'll do quality, yeah. we'll, just do, we'll just do poll, right, fuck it, Hamilton. Yeah, I don't, I don't see any signs, I don't see any anything telling me that... Practice really looked like... Hamilton bought us nowhere near my max. Well, let's be real. I'd say the last few days with Bottas has been pretty good in practice and qualifying, but he doesn't really deliver where it matters. The race. Yep. Yeah, I wouldn't even be surprised if fucking Hamilton's just taking it easy in front. I think he does. Maybe not so much qualifying, like, but I mean, see, see how these weekends where where Bottas is getting fastest in all three practice sessions. Is that truly because he's quicker? It's no coincidence that it's it's a regular occurrence. Yeah. Uh, I mean, because uh, uh, know they talk about in Sky, they always talk about they analyze like Hamilton in practice, and it's like they always say he risks stuff. He sees what lines he can and can't take. So obviously Hamilton seeing what he can do. What what what's the capable of right, for, the for qualifying? Uh, well, Bottas is just well, I'm just going to do what I do in practice and qualifying. Yeah, I mean he's not gaining enough. I mean Hamilton's looking for every fucking you know minor one thousand attempts that he can gain, and Bottas is just there. Being pissed. Being right, anyway, into the race. Top five. I'm gonna go Lewis bought us. Lewis. Lewis. Lewis bought us Max. I see no reason why. I'll give it. 
I'm going to change it. I'm going Louis, Louis bought Louis bought as Max Perez Leclerc. That's my top five. Ferrari a power circuit. All right. Um, I'm going with Hamilton, Max, Bottas. Maybe Danny Rick. Hamilton, Max, Bottas, Danny Rick, Perez. It's a power circuit. And next week, the, the the NASCAR version of this track, where it's just the outer rim, where it's just it's going to be like a, a fifty-one second lap, eighty-seven laps. I think Renault. I think Renault. I think Renault will be second fastest. Like, behind Mark. Look at Monza Red Bull were nowhere, and that's got corners. This outer lap, well, obviously it has corners, but compared to Monza, it's it's like Monza without the corners. Pierre Gasly, get your money on him. But anyway guys, let us know your predictions down below and if you're going to fucking comment and say how is better than Alonso, that's fair enough, right? But I disagree. Uh, well, it was more... What was, it, what was the guy said? He basically said Alonso shite and Hamilton destroyed No, the other I couldn't give a shit about that, man. I mean, he hardly just... They, they ended up in the same points. Yeah, well, you want to agree about that, it's a food for a different day. But until next time... Peace. Peace.